हेलो डे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम फॉर ऑनलाइन लेक्चर्स ऑफ सिस्टम्स इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग यूनिट नंबर थ्री टुडेज टॉपिक आई सी इंजिन एंड देयर कंपोनेंट्स फॉर इंटरनल कंबेशन इंजिन देर इज मोर कंपोनेंट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू कन्वर्ट केमिकल एनर्जी इंटू हीट एनर्जी हीट एनर्जी इज कन्वर्टेड इंटू मैकेनिकल एनर्जी देर आर मोर कंपोनेंट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड to convert this energy from one form to another form in case of internal combustion engine there are near about 15 components are required that is number 1 cylinder block and crankcase cylinder blocks uh, as shown in figure the cylinder blocks are made by the casting and it is material used for that is grey cast iron and alloy aluminum alloy the cylinder box are used for to hold the engine components water jackets cooling jackets oil passages passages for push rod fitment for crankshaft lubrication pump etc these are made by the casting process look this diagram there is a provision for the क्रैंकैसैंकशाफ्ट देर इज अ क्रैंकशाफ्ट हाउसिंग इज देयर कैमशाफ्ट हाउसिंग इज देयर प्रोविजन फॉर टू फिट द कैमशाफ्ट इन साइड दिस इन सिलेंडर ब्लॉक नेक्स्ट सिलेंडर हेड सिलेंडर हेड इट इज one of the important components of ic engine there is a provision for fitting uh, spark plug in case of petrol engine in case of ci engine there is a provision for to fit the injector wall openings combustion chamber mountings for wall operating mechanism this is also made by the cast iron the material used for the ci and uh, aluminum alloy look this diagram of uh, cylinder head oil pan third components it is also called as oil sump uh, oil pan is very important components of the lubrication system the oil which is supplied for the lubricating uh, components of the engine that oil is collected in a oil pan look this diagram of oil pan it is made by the pressed steel or aluminum alloy next fourth component manifolds there are two manifolds two types of manifolds used in ic engines inlet manifold and exhaust manifold this is diagram for the si engine there is a carburetor is provided actually inlet manifold uh, function is to supply the air fuel mixture uh, to every cylinder there is a provision of uh, inlet manifold which is connected to the uh, cylinders to supply the air fuel mixture and exhaust manifold after combustion of fuel take place after exhaust stroke whatever exhaust gases are generated that is supplied through the exhaust manifold that is collected in a exhaust manifold and supplied to the silencer or muffler look this diagram inlet manifold and exhaust manifold the material used uh, for this manifolds are generally ci cast iron it is made by the casting process next gaskets gaskets are uh, very much important for the engine to avoid the leakage of two mating parts the leakage may be exhaust uh, gases or maybe the charge that is during suction stroke for the fitting manifold over the engine uh, 
block there is a requirement of uh, such type of uh, gaskets the material used for the gaskets are uh, embossed steel cork special rubber next cylinder liners cylinder liner is also important cylinder liner is uh, in the form of barrel made of special uh, alloy iron containing silicon manganese nickel and chromium these liners are oil hardening type provide a much longer life for the engine these are pitted uh, in engine block that is uh, cylinder bore these are highly precise component inside the cylinder liners the piston moves between two strokes sorry between the tdc top dead center and bottom dead center next piston piston is used to compress the charge air fuel mixture charge is nothing but air fuel mixture during compression stroke and transmit the gas force to the connecting rod and then crank during power strokes piston moves inside the cylinder liner next piston rings piston rings are commonly generally three types of piston rings that is fitted on a piston boss there is a compression ring wiper ring and oil ring piston rings are housed in the circumference circumferential grooves provided on outer surface of the piston it gives tight fit between piston and cylinder hence prevent the leakage of high pressure gases compression ring wiper ring is a piston ring which tapered face located in ring grooves between the compression rings and uh, oil rings the wiper rings used to further seal of uh, combustion chamber and to wipe the cylinder wall clean of excess oil combustion gases that pass by the compression rings are stopped by the wiper rings and third one ring is the oil rings this piston rings located in the ring grooves closest to the crankcase the oil rings are used to wipe the excess oil from the cylinder wall during piston movements the excess oil return through the rings openings to the oil reservoir in the engine block generally the material used for these oil rings are uh, alloy cast iron with esi silicon manganese with chromium platings next connecting rod it is a rod of a circular rectangular cross section it has a two end look this diagram big end and a small end small end is connected to the piston side piston boss and big end is connected to the crank there is a reciprocating motion take place inside the cylinder by the piston due to the moment of connecting rod actually connecting rod transfers the motion from piston to crank generally the connecting rods are made by the forging process the material used for the connecting rod uh, is a drop forged steel next piston and gudgeon pin gudgeon pin is also known as a piston pin or wrist pin 
the piston pin connects the piston to the connecting rod and provide bearing surface for the connecting rod to pivot as next crankshaft for converting reciprocating motion of piston to rotary motion of crankshaft by the connecting rod vibration damper and flywheel is fitted look this diagram of the crankshaft next main and big end bearings the bearings are uh, fitted on a crankshaft these are the made by the by metal bearings next engine walls there are two walls such as a inlet wall and uh, that is exhaust walls are provided inlet walls are uh, provided for uh, to enter the charge of air fuel mixture inside the engine cylinder and exhaust wall after combustion after completion of exhaust stroke whatever exhaust gases are generated that that is passes through this exhaust wall this type of generally the material used for the nickel chromium alloy used for these walls look this schematic sorry look this diagram of uh, uh, walls there are actually the special mechanisms are provided wall operating mechanism such as the rocker arm mechanisms are provided for the engine for operating by using uh, camshaft uh, now camshaft camshafts that is very much a uh, important part for uh, operating uh, walls the material used for the camshaft is forged alloy steel there is a cam lobe is there the shape of the cam like this look at this diagram okay thank you uh, sorry next uh, silencer this is uh, important